We are moving! It's moving day! For the hundredth time in three months. Hello, welcome back to this vloggy vlog. This is an exciting one because we are moving. It's moving day for the hundredth time in three months. Into our new house, over two years in the making, and today is the day. It still feels surreal. Doesn't feel real. I guess that's happening. what surreal is. It's happening, and I'm so bloody excited about it. Same. I am, like, everything's in our warehouse at the moment. We've been staying with friends. I don't know, sure if I updated last vlog, but we were living in my sister's apartment for about two months, and then her tenant had to move in um, about a week before our house was ready, so we had to come, move out of there, clean all that, and then come move in with our friends, with Hayley and Kyle, for a week while they're away. And now we're finally moving in. So it's been a bit of a journey, but we are finally we here. We Some hurdles it. along the way. We got it covered. But it's been epic. Previous to this vlog, you would have seen my third house build update, which was the last update because today is like finished. So before we actually move things in and I vlog through the moving process or just like take you guys along for some of this moving I do want to go out to the house because we'll have to bring some things for the builder because they are still, you know, Final little details. There's still touches, things that are happening. We are working to the crunch, but I would like to show you some rooms, a little bit of a semi-finished house tour. A naked if house, may. if you will. Because this is the only time I'm really going to see a brand new, empty, complete. True. Because it's literally just still finishing. They're still caulking, like putting the silicon around edges. It's still finishing, but it's clean and everything's looking amazing so before we dint any walls and Which we will <laughs> the we. kids spread their mess i want to get some empty videos so you can see the final finishes and then we get to do the fun stuff styling furnishing etc a little bit worried by the time we move in and pull our furniture in i'm going to realize how many things i haven't yet ordered and need to order so that's a worry more cash <laughs> but i'm going yeah Big day. So I'm gonna head out to Huge the house. Day. Wait, you, Odie's here. Odie, what are you gonna do? Inside. Girlie, cool. take her to work? All right, let's go out to the house. here with the truckload. I've been getting the content all morning at the house and now it's time for me to do some heavy lifting. What do you reckon? It's, it's just a cool 36 degrees hot sunny day. Beautiful. Just what you want. Wouldn't want anything else. Hey look Peloton has its own room. Hey baby. This is your bedroom. This is where you sleep and work and play. Must be nice. And this, not that we need this today. Sliding. It's from Kiva. Stop it. Look at this. A manual. Wow. Out done it. So here, yeah, build his wife. Thank you. <laughs> this is a nice one. We just, yeah, we're waiting on like so much furniture. These are really cute. These are cute, eh? Yeah. Really nice. Yeah, I like them. This is our botch table. We stained it ourselves. We did a little DIY because I knew my actual dining table was going to take ages. 
Let's go down wide for the time being to give it a freshen up. Hey? Prince there. Freshen up. Fresh. Prince there. Fresh. 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 Ellie Lee Watson. So I've placed a few things. That is not actually staying here. This is, I bought this for our bedroom, so ignore, I'm just placing it now. I might even just move it to our bedroom. So it's there. And this lamp is from the girls. This is from the work girls. You know, it's a voucher for Kira Kira, and this is what we picked out. It's either going to stay here or it's going to go in our bedroom. So we're deciding because I've seen this like colourful one on Fenton and Fenton that I think is really cool and might be better out here and then maybe this in our bedroom. I don't know, got it aside. This is a sofa. It's feeling homey. Feeling cosy. Got that with the fire behind. This was my sister's. So we've just got to give that a clean. And this is Odie's new little sash bed, which needs to fluff out a bit. Picked this green colour so it could not get dirty. And that'll either go here or in our bedroom. This is her bed and she just sleep with me. Oh, she loves it. You know what's up, Odie girl. Hi, Muffin. That's your bed. You go? Yep. I'm going around? Yeah, I assume that how far I closed all the fucking I think I took screws out of it. We're doing Bowie's, Bowie's room. I'm excited to set up Bowie's bed. We've got all his new furniture from Sacred Bundle. So he's going to have like, yeah, a full. And you're going to set, which is really exciting. Can you do your muscle again to make it? Come on, I can do it. Now. What? That being home. So good. Surreal so far, a bit surreal. We are grabbing some pizza. Dinner, it's 8, 20 past 8. So we're gonna grab some dinner and then go back to Haley and Kyle's house. <laughs> You're freaking out. And shower, because we just, it's stinky. It's been like such a hot day. Oh my God, it was 36 degrees outside when I got in my car around midday. So we're like, yeah, pretty gross. Need to have a good shower. And then we'll decide whether we come out to the house for a first sleep without the kids or whether we just stay the night at Hayley and Kyle's. Not really sure. What do you reckon, Odie? First night in the new house. This is where you're going to sleep. Hey? What do you reckon? My little lamp I got. It's not cute. I actually did think it was going to be red. Some brekkie from Good Day. Some sustenance. I got Alex a toasty. They're really good toasties. And I got myself a good old Avo toast with goat's cheese. And of course, some coffees. Right, all this stuff is coming today. Filling at our warehouse. Things. Just things, aren't they? Are things. Just stuff.
sun at least. All right, we have been unpacking things, trying to have some method to the madness. So, so far we've got like, I feel like this is actually gonna move probably over near the beach towers, but so far that's like outdoor activities and like pool things, but we don't have a pool yet. Alex wanted to have all of Bowie's teddies on show and I said, no, it's just overwhelming, overstimulation. So I've put his teddies in here. It's not like he plays with them all anyway. So we can just rotate. There's a teddy drawer, because <laughs> he has so many. And then this is all toy storage. So we're just trying to organize everything, theme it, and just it's a work in progress. And then over here, we are working on linen storage. This is like linen storage for kids slash guest. And in Zimmy's room, mom's been putting away her clothes. I'm putting, I'm trying to find little cute things to put on show. But just like organizing her clothes and stuff. And yeah, we have so much to do, clearly. And then in Bowie's room, Alex has been doing that. Still no word from his mattress. I ordered from Koala and it said next day delivery. Yesterday, nothing. Still nothing today. It is a Saturday, but I'm pretty disappointed because that means all weekend he's not going to be able to sleep in his big boy bed. And they did, when I ordered, it promised next day delivery, so that's really quite annoying. Anyway, his clothes are filling up his wardrobe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's the energy I need. Bowman, come here! Oh, good job. Oh, good job. Oh, good job. Oh, what do you think about him? He's new. He's big dog. Long neck. Oh, it's a really big one. Pretty cool. That's gonna go on your wall, so don't walk all over that. Yes. <laughs> you ready? Oh, it's a lamp. Maybe it's a lamp. He oh, stays ready? there. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Smiley lamp. Look what you've got. You've got the yellow, just no oh, man, mattress. No mattress yet. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh. I've got a mattress. Oh, oh cool. New present. What? Oh. what is it? What, what is, is that? It's an alligator. That is a crocodile. We just had our friends over for a little welcome house drink. Um, and then we've gone outside to say, like to wave them off. And it smelled like, like a petrol station times 10. Like you were inhaling petrol, it was so intense. And then the boys like seen it was all through the gutter where our cars are parked. There was petrol the whole way along the gutter and down the road either side. And they're like, shit, if someone like, you know, flicked a fire, uh, dart out the window or something like could like set your whole front road and cars on fire um so yeah i just called the fire brigade someone had like maybe crashed i'm not sure but like dumped all their fuel at the end of our street and it like ran down the street and it was like heading towards like waterways 
Um, it was quite a lot of it too. And so yeah, I called the fire brigade and they came straight out. Unfortunately, Bowie was out getting dinner when they arrived with their lights on. But Zimmy got to go out and see them, didn't you Zimmy? You got to go see the fire brigade. That was exciting. Bowie would have loved that. But he was out grabbing some takeaway. But, oh my God, I'd never actually called triple zero before. And that's what I did. Cause I was like, I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna call because like, I'm scared. Also, I like watch way too many movies. I was like, I'm scared like someone's gonna purposefully light that to like light my car on fire. I watch way too many movies. So yeah, it kind of, in a way, could have been an emergency, but it's also like boiling hot at the moment, like so hot. Not that I think that could catch it on fire, but anyway, they said you did the right thing. We've put the stuff down, it should be good. Council's notified, council should come sort it as well. But yes, wow, I've never actually called them before. So my heart was racing, that's what I was trying to say. And I was like having a little freak out. And then my friends drove home and they seen the person pulled over. They obviously run out of fuel. And yeah, they pulled over to like see if he was okay. And I think he was like, I don't know, maybe he'd crashed because he was not. Like, yeah, they're like, I feel like he was on something. Drummers, we just can't seem to get away from it. So I'm gonna have, put the kids in the bath. I think when Alex gets home, I might run a bath for the kids and have their first bath, which will be fun. But I'm also going to wrap up this vlog here because it has been a busy weekend so far. And I, yeah, I feel like it's been a really good gist of a moving vlog, hectic. We just still have lots of unpacking to do, but that's fine. We will get it done. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy coming along on this very exciting time for us and also this is where we'll be like you know living this is where the vlogs will be from now on so welcome home it's gonna be fun i'm excited i love it already okay bye